Kung Fu Master was released in the arcades in 1984 and was brought to the NES, simply titled Kung Fu, the following year. This was one of the North American launch titles for the NES, and the original arcade version is usually considered the first ever beat-em-up, so let's see if it's any good. This is one of those games where what you see is pretty much what you get. You move toward the edge of the screen, wasting enemies along the way, head to the next floor of the building, rinse, and repeat, on your quest to rescue the damsel in distress. The controls are very tight and responsive, hitting these fools feels satisfying, and the game is a lot more challenging than it looks. For me, it required a lot of memorization in order to make it to the end of a screen with a relatively full life bar to take on the boss. The beginning portions of the second and fourth levels in particular require a very methodical approach to get through unscathed, and it's all about using your muscle memory since the non-human enemies have no AI. The bosses start out pretty easy, but by the time you reach the third one, you'll have to start thinking more about strategy than simple button mashing. This guy deals enough damage with one blow to take out half your life bar. This may or may not be the best strategy, but the only way I was able to deal with him even semi-consistently was with kicks to the face. The fourth guy is a mystery. He's only vulnerable to one specific attack. Any other will just cause his head to pop off, only for him to teleport away unharmed. The final boss, Mr. X, seemed very weak in comparison. I beat him on my first try. I have no idea if he actually is that easy or if I just fluked it. Since your kick attack has more range, you get more points for using the punch. And points are good, because you get an extra life at 50,000 points. As far as I can tell though, it isn't possible to gain any additional lives after that, because you don't get one at 100,000, and that sucks. So after you hit 50,000 points, the punch has very few uses. This is one of those games that's very short with only five stages, and compensates for it by being very difficult. Not just with the previously mentioned tough bosses and environmental hazards that require memorization, but even a lot of the regular enemies can get annoying. Particularly the little dudes who do these wild and seemingly unpredictable flips, and the knife throwers who can gang up on you, and even run away from you while still chucking knives. Your life bar is thankfully refilled at the beginning of each level, but aside from that, there are no health power-ups, and your health can be drained extremely quickly, even by some of the weakest enemies who hug you to death. Because you also get bonus points for the amount of energy and time you have left, it's often in your interest to make a beeline to the stairs after beating the boss and ignore any enemies who may be chasing you. Even though this game is hard, it's still very beatable with a little persistence, and it's rewarding to put the practice in and progress a little further each time you give it a try, so it's easy to recommend. It doesn't fall into the trap too many beat-em-ups do. This one cannot be conquered with no thought and blind button mashing. There's even a more difficult Game B if Game A is not tough enough for you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leaving a thumbs up, sharing, and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future videos. This has been a Leaky Faucet Review, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.